Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, so this is the life. I knew making these shroom farms was a good ex was a good uh, reason. Oh, I can't no. can't see them. Don't hey, know where I'm going. Just steal mine. Probably. <laughs> Man. I don't know how Man. to walk. Daniel, I, I can't to... <laughs> walk in a straight line. <laughs> What are you doing, man? I don't know. What are you doing? Ooh, shiny fire! <laughs> okay. Shiny yeah. fire right next to the trees! Trees look pretty. Hey, wow, well, I took like every single Whoa, one from my house. Guys, 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 go down the tree tunnel. It's so cool. Awesome. What? Like, ah! ow. <laughs> why I didn't hit yourself, man? Why, why are you ow. hitting yourself? <laughs> Dude, I can't even get out of here. What the heck? Where am I going? It's a maze! We We're trapped! I found it! Alright, this is oh, uh, where we're supposed I to know. be going. Oop. Oh, oops. Oh, uh, uh, oh hey guys! This is embarrassing. Um, uh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> this is what we do off camera. Forget this is what we do off camera with saw. our shroom farm. Yep. But uh, I pro we actually have a really good excuse, guys. So, uh, let me just get into fifth person. I'm gonna level with you guys. Fifth person? Fifth yeah. person. Uh, we had our first major casualties from keep inventory being not on, so we've now lost all of our custom items, both speedy bones mm -hmm. and the knockback helmet. So we're pretty bummed, and we just wanted to feel happy again. So don't judge so, us. Shrooms. <laughs> the shrooms. shrooms. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have all of yours. <laughs> so anyway, um, we talked about it. We're gonna persevere. We're gonna keep going without keep inventory. Honestly, it'd be a, like James said, it'd be a lot easier with it, just because, just because then you wouldn't waste so much time like running around, especially with the pigman bug. But uh, we actually, so speaking of the pigman bug, there's been a lot of complaints about the fact that the pigman will randomly attack you if anything hits them. We had it happen with skeletons on our skelly farm the other day. Like oh, pigmen just terrible. wander into the skelly farm and get shot, and then all of them slaughter us. But uh. To do that, we're actually going to be testing a new custom item that's going to be in the next version of that might be in the next version of Exile, depending on how balanced it is. And that's called the Mysterious Tome. So let me just talk a little bit about this item. So uh, let me let me go into my inventory so you can see Mysterious Tome uh, by Galilee. So the lore is that it describes a sound soothing to pigmen that can be played to, to help calm their anger. So basically what this item does, it's a book that you would find basically pretty close to your prison. It's su supposed to help you deal with this, this pigmen bug, at least until they fix it in 1.8. So the description is, pigmen are fickle creatures and will frequently attack visitors even if they are not the ones to hurt them, assuming the unknown creature must be responsible. This sound will help to calm them down if played. So let me... So uh, that's all the description you're going to get in-game. Effectively what this means is if you click this click to play sound button up here, the underlined part of the text, um, basically what will happen is the pigmen's anger will get reset. Now that doesn't mean they stop chasing you just because of the way pigmen help, but it's also going to make it so that they won't really follow you. So if you click it and then run away from the ones that are angry, they will not follow you and, and the anger... Uh, Hy hypothetically shouldn't follow, so it should make it should make it so that if the glitch happens and you're trapped by a bunch of angry pigmen, it should be able to get away without ruining your video video for 20 minutes. So <laughs> we're, gonna, just we're gonna test that out. We're gonna see if it works, um, and I like you guys' feedback to see if this sort of an item will be balanced. Um, for us, it's gonna be especially important because the pigmen have been have resulted in a lot of. Uh, Wasted camera time since we don't have to keep inventory. We kind of have to go back and get our stuff every time. So we'll see. I think it's a good oh. idea. Um, I just yep. I just sum it up as the pigment of results in a lot of catastrophes. So so go ahead and grab a fire resist potion if you don't already. That's another thing we've done. So Lizandra, you wanna did a lot of off camera fishing. I think yeah. she she wanted a bow and she just happened to fish up like five water bottles, eight leather, Fine. all sorts all <laughs> sorts of great stuff. We got really lucky. Um, basically, because she fished, decided to fish for us for like four hours. <laughs> Eight leather. More than that. Mm. More yeah. than that. So, so we I got fire resistance questions now. Boat. So even if we fall in lava, if we're quick, there's a chance we can save ourselves. So that's that's a pretty good insurance we got now. Um, as you saw already, we got a big grass patch that we spread to the nether. That's where our, where we're gonna get new flowers and. And uh, we re rearranged our base a bit, little bit, so we get a bunch more cane. Um, now today is actually going to be a bit of a work day, so 
we have a lot of projects we want to work on, so we, we started to think of ideas of how we're going to farm that skeleton farm, because we'd like a good source of arrows. And uh, actually, Lysandra found one other really great uh, find while she was there the other day. Let's go ahead and head over to the portal room, uh, our prison, and let's show you a few changes that have happened. Come on, Danny, you'll want to see this too. Oh, I missed the speed bun already, I'm so slow. <laughs> I know, right? I don't miss it, because I never had one. Where's the shrooms again? It... I put them back in the chest. I <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. Just kidding. Oh, to clarify, no, we're I not advocating shrooms. the use of drugs. Minecraft shrooms don't really get you high, but... <laughs> well, I mean, you could make it... You could... You can make a command block module that did that. But we, we were just we were talking <laughs> before the recording started today. We were like, you know, it's it's so funny. In real life, what would you do in the exiled situation where you're stuck in this like hellhole of a world? And we were like, well, we'd probably... <laughs> well, there is uh, just a bunch of mushrooms around. Let's use them for like, something useful. We're like, why did we go and make a giant over-the-top shroom <laughs> farm? And we're like, hmm, that actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> It'd be like if you were stuck in a terrible like place. like live in Colorado. Maybe you'd, maybe you'd want to farm drugs to make yourself feel better, but... We're not advocating that in real life. Yeah. Psh, nonsense. Um, alright, so here's the... Whoa! Riverside glitch. Alright. So here's the new base. We got a little fishing spot. We put down some carpets to cover some irrigation canals that have allowed us to really expand our cane. This is the only place we can grow cane right now. Because we got, like, a little water spring here. So we're just trying to maximize that. Because we're working on getting a bunch of full-size five maps for everyone to actually carry as we explore the nether so that we can tell where we've been. So that's our next project. And you can probably already hear them, but this is the new change. So Lysandria actually found our second chicken finally! Yay! Yeah! So now they we can make went to breed feathers, we can have automate a chicken farm pretty easily actually. Um, but we're just kind of getting eggs and breeding them up for now. So that's another cool project. I've already so got Four stacks Farp. of eggs in this chest here. Yep. So to the next couple of episodes, I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to keep in of this. I may jump cut or do some time lapses, but we're definitely going to be doing a lot of base building. We're going to cover our paths, make things safer, expand our basing, and we're definitely going to make a gold farm just to give us a renewable source of that because we keep yep. losing armor to like random accidents. <laughs> Actually, then the last chest plate that you gave me that was on 11 durability just earlier. It's now on 4. Okay, uh, why don't you combine them with this to get the 15% boost? I'll just go without a chest plate. Okay, thank you. No props. I'm the expendable guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you don't have a speedy bone. Let's try to keep the person alive who dies the least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so... So, yeah, uh... A lot of, lot of plans for today. Actually, I would really like to build our, our, our gold farm, finally. And I'm actually going to build it in a way that maximizes uh, zombie summ summ summons as well. So we're going to work on that. We're going to work on the skeleton spawner, which will be our... Trying to make that safe, that's the big issue. Because <laughs> yeah. where there's skeletons are bad news. Started working on it, but it's still very, very dangerous and deadly. Yeah, so that's about all... With the base, I guess. I'm gonna ha actually head on over and let you guys want to work on the skeleton farm a bit. Try to figure that out. Sure, let me... I gotta get some netherrack first. Depending on how much trouble we have getting that set up, we may do a jump cut. But we'll just kind of yeah. get started and we'll, we'll see where it goes. So, come on, dudes. Let's do this. So our, our idea Aww. is we're first going to work on maximizing the spawn rates in here. We've already hollowed out a 9x9 nine nine area. Then we're trying to channel the, the little skellies into an area and, and trick the archers into just shooting into the backs of the wither skeletons. So that's our plan for the farm. We'll see if it works. Probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be too easy. It'll be too easy, of course. But this is a, a nice challenging area to try to farm. We definitely want to be able to do it, though. Yeah. Um... Alright. Is the roof gonna be bricks or slabs? 
I'm gonna go mine some stuff. Slabs. Slab slabs, okay. And it's gonna be... Top slab, too. <laughs> yep, I think so. I got like a 60... <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> stupid Minecraft and its stupid, stupid mechanics. Psh, nonsense. I'm really annoyed that, like, you can die to a withering effect, and your stuff will still scatter, like, in a 10 by 10 radius and die in fires. Yeah. Like, you basically have to, like, wall yourself in if you don't want to lose stuff. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, uh, it makes sense to me that when you fall, your stuff scatters more and more, which it does, but you shouldn't have your stuff strew everywhere from just withering to death. That doesn't make any sense. You know? Right, Micah? Yes. Anyway, we're going to get this farm up and rolling. So this is our little way in. The wither skeletons can't get out, but the... Okay, this is a bad entrance to pick, just because you can't pan strafe to each side quickly. Um... So we're so. hoping that the wither skeletons will drop in the hole before the regular skeletons do. And the regular skeletons will start this shooting the wither skeletons. No, no, actually we want them all to come, which is why we want an entrance that we can come to either side. So which one uh, yeah, like to every side? This one here is uh, free on both sides for two blocks. Yeah, two on either side. That's Wait, good. so this is the one we want, then. Awesome. Uh, you guys ready to activate this thing? Let's just see how it works for now with the one and the darkness. Um, we should probably stop up these holes too, but I was thinking it might be useful to be able to run around to get at ones that aren't coming to you. Yeah, you know? leave, the, leave the holes open, because I mean, I'm not going to be sitting there fighting the same with the same skeletons and stuff. So the reason are, we leave one of them idea. open is because it allows the skeletons to think they can come to us, you know? So, mm -hmm. what I'm thinking... Ah, okay. Hmm. Is there a way we could, like, yeah, let's trap door this so that we can easily close it behind us after we trick the skeletons to coming? Micah? Yeah. So we, w we definitely want this hole because they'll drop in here and not be able to get knocked back out by our swords. So now let's do trap doors, I think. Um, what and just trap. Fine, right? Two. We don't have Two any wood. I do. Top okay, this totally. We, we well. totally need to slab the floor sometime so, because these pigs. You know, you know what's gonna happen have. is these retarded pigmen are gonna walk in front of us while we're swinging, and then we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> gonna kill them. Yeah, I'm thinking we maybe could slab the floor. Well, the at issue some with point. with that, Micah, is if you slab it, then we can't. We're not at the right level anymore. But we, we can, can at least like actually that we can might at work. Least, we can at least do the doors where they can't wander in, and then like make sure there's no pigmen before you get started. We could do that, Dan, though, because we, if we put a slab uh, here... Move for a second, man. If we put a slab there... Look, there's even one in the freaking pen. He's definitely going to get shot and make them all angry. Oh, yeah. Get out. There you go. He got out. Awesome. So here's the plan. Like that, maybe? So we can walk in, but they're going to have a hard time doing the same. Just keep on hearing people That's... just fall. We can walk in just with just one, but that top one will block arrow shots, because they shoot a little above you. Mm. Yeah, we totally need to block this off before we do anything, because we are totally- we're gonna die from pigmen every time we use this. Yeah, I've been wondering how we're gonna do that too, because I died to them once. Slap everything except for the entrance, maybe? And then block off the all the entrances to this area? Yeah, they can't spawn within a certain block radius of you, can they? I'm out of slabs. Too bad. Um. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, what's up? There you go. Okay. Uh, don't, can't don't mess up- bedrock, right? Don't mess up the, the panning. Uh, no, they can't spawn on bedrock unless it's a summons. So, so you're pretty safe there. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, the roof, I think, is actually a spawnable area, if I recall. Yeah, you must the yeah because you put it one, one too high. Well, I didn't realize you'd slapped the top of this border. Yeah, because they were spawning up up there, too. So let's, so someone want to get up there and make it all the right type of slab, then? 
Um, okay, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna leave these spawnable because I want to be able to get in to get the drops. This is the entrance. Hey, Pikmin, these beats. Hey, uh, you guys want to test the book? <laughs> by by killing the, these, killing these Pikmin and then using it and seeing if the ones outside come down. Okay guys, so this is our, our first attempt at a farm. So basically, just a flat platform, maximized spawning space. Um, we have little holes where we can poke at the skeletons at any side, just in case their AI is glitching and they won't come to us. But uh, they should. this should be all be close enough, they'll pathfind over here into this hole, and then we can close this trap door, or open it and grind. The wither skeletons can't get out, so they'll just be shot by the normal skeletons, and then we can duct either side to, to draw the normal skeletons out once the withers are dead, and then trap them once they're in the hole and just beat them to death. So that's the plan. Hopefully that'll minimize damage. This trap door on top is supposed to block arrows shot from this level, because they shoot a little above where they're supposed to, so that should tick the arrow. And we'll see if it works. Ready to ready? all the torches? I'm, I got my yeah, torch. let's do it. Trap doors are open. Let's test right. this. And this is a one person at a time farm, so careful. Yep. <laughs> Just like that. Wow, that was beautiful. So, taking out the torches definitely wasn't Excuse safe. Excuse me, I'm gonna hit you. I moved. Didn't think it would be. So, um... Yeah, there's some definite pathfinding problems. They seem to have trouble finding it. But the trapdoors are definitely stopping the skeletons from being able to hit us from the level above. That's an improvement. This actually works pretty well. I'm using it right now and it's, it's wrecking them. I've taken no damage. Uh, I gotta get your stuff though, which is gonna mm. be the dangerous part. Trying! Ah! Don't die too. Run, Dan, run. Couldn't get uh, the chest plate, it's in the corner. I ran out of inventory space. I, I can get it. Screw the chest plate. Alright, tell me when I need to run in, Dan, and I can go get it. Dude, he totally fails to shoot you, even if he shoots right at you, he just it misses. <laughs> it's great. Dan, tell this, me when I can run. These trap doors are the best. The wither skeleton, but you're welcome to go in at any time. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Dan set the whole path here on fire. Dan How just did, really wants to, to get it. That? No, well, she doesn't have you don't have inventory You know what you can through me, I can't in. swing my sword, right? Alright, it's so this It's really an efficient okay. process. Yeah, this works pretty well for luring in the archers. They all left. Oh. You left him a Pikmin exit. <laughs> yeah, I opened up an egg the exit and they went ahead and just walked away. This is a pretty productive farm as long as you can keep them pathfinding to you. That's the issue is lines of sight. We might want to make more windows so that we don't have to get into a vulnerable position for them to see us. They seem to be mm -hmm. seeing us through the trap doors, so I think oh. if we replace this block... That's my stuff? And this block with tra with another trap door, it'll work better. Zan has the armor and the bow. I tossed that. Yeah, he gave me that stuff. already. Where's the rest of my stuff? Like the sword. Dan. Yep. Yeah, here you go. Why wow, your iron sword should really beat down. Yeah. You, don't use it on the farm like that. That's just a bad idea. Use the wooden the stone swords that they're dropping. Yeah, we should make I more did. entrances like this, Dan. Thank you. Uh, do you have do you have more trap doors? I'm I'm gonna make another entrance like that one over there because I found it, there's another place over here that you can pan. Well, you can't actually can't pan here, but that doesn't matter. Okay, they seem to not be able to see through trap doors, which is interesting. 
Daniel, do you have more trapdoors? So I had to open it before he'd come to me. See, look at that. If you're right here, the arrows don't actually hit you. They just go into the wall behind you for some reason. Dude. It's happened over and over again to me. Do you have trapdoors? I'm making some. Nope. Oh, okay. But I can make the, the farm a little safer with additional trapdoors. Yeah, definitely. I was thinking I'd make another entrance over here, because that way I can farm at the same time. Because there's a bunch of wither skeletons sitting on. Lasagna, you have the trapdoors, so I guess? we're gonna make the trapdoors here on the sides? I was thinking I was gonna make like it at the other corner. Oh, I, don't I was just gonna that. make it in the other corner. Just convert all all the valid entrances to this so that multiple people can grind at the same time to keep keep the farm more expensive. More Come along, Lasagna. I still don't have a pickaxe! I, it, you, you're not using, you're not building one there. You're, he said all the valid entrances, which is this one. one. Thank you! Basically ones that you can pan at least one block to the side are gonna be good ones, okay?